Let's just see how bad it is. It would be very bad. No, I think that's really bad. Well, it's a windy day in Carrick. <laughs> the storm season seems to have returned. I've been told to be careful up near the end because it's moving quite a bit. So uh, we'll see. Um, I'm certainly getting to a bit now where it's moving considerably more than it was. But hey, it's boat life, isn't it? So let's have a look and see how we're doing. So when I'm out here, I may as well give Salty Lass a quick check over, make sure she's all right. She seems to be riding nicely in her slip and she's very comfortable aboard, which is good. Um, so what we've currently got is we've got our nylon storm lines out and the front one's looking particularly stretched, I'm gonna have to say. Uh, we've got a safety line on it in case the nylon gives way because they're not as durable as polyester. Um, our spring lines seem to be holding well. And, um, our heavier nylon line is here on the back. Uh, we would have used it at the front, but it's too short for to reach the um, to reach the cleat in question. The nylon line at the front is stretching like a good one. <laughs> and on this side, nothing's happening because it's all it's it's all calm. Well, over in uh, on Cook's tour, Beverly has just started cooking um, carrot casserole and there will be a link to that up there and uh, while the casserole is cooking I've got the enviable job of sorting out the rat's nest <laughs> known as our wiring underneath the chart table it's a complete mess so why is it such a mess? well it's a mess because Beverly and I have been adding um, light, mood lighting uh, into the V-berth. I've been putting um, lighting into the cockpit and into the bathroom. Um, so we've got lighting everywhere. Um, we've got all sorts of additional electronics that we've put into the boat. And um, we haven't actually done the final bit, which is actually wire it into the switch panel. So. So how does the electronics work currently then? Uh, we have, if you haven't wired it in anywhere? We've actually got it all on uh, one switch. We've got some lighting, like for instance the lighting that we've got under here, uh, which doesn't actually physically work um, because that's not wired in. Um, the cockpit lighting's not wired in, so I've got loads of wires that's not wired in. The mood lighting that I do have it's all on our entertainment down here um, but what we want to do is we want to make it into a much better configuration and in our blog we've got all how we're going to wire it and everything already written out in the blog so that we have a plan as to what we're going to do which is always a good idea when you're doing stuff like this so what I'm doing to start this horrendous job is um, I'm just relabeling all the cables and I've got little markers on them. Um, white is going to be my uh, cabin lighting, whereas I have got, oh yes, here we are, a red marker just there. And that's going to be um, my auxiliary, what I call my auxiliary lighting, which is things like the cockpit lighting. So I'm putting markers, but what worries me is cables like this one which has got a label on it that says negative 12 volts for the VHF radio. Not being funny, but the VHF radio is working, so I've got to find out where that particular wire is. So, fun and games. 
but at least I've made a start now on this cabinet and it will be good eventually. Ah, well, it's the following day and the wind has died down. Gusts are now only 4.7. <laughs> it's bad when 4.7 gusts are considered to be good. Um, I'm just checking the lines. We've got a bit of wear and tear on the lines because we don't have any sleeving over them. And people say, well, you should put a plastic hose over them. But as you can see, our fair leads aren't particularly high. And the line pretty much fills the fair lead. So the upshot is if I put a hose in it, it wouldn't fit through the fair lead. Uh, we need to get some sort of very hard wearing flexible material and put that through like leather or something but we don't have it to hand at the moment so if the lines wear through it's not a big deal um, we can cope with that uh, they only cost a few pounds and we'll just replace them but they've done a very good job of making it very very comfortable on board Salty Lass we were very very comfy we didn't get jerked around so hopefully this will die out overnight and we can get going again tomorrow Sometimes I feel that Beverly and I work at the speed of an Arcturian mega donkey because it's been like another day and I'm just about going to put Bev's panel in and that's my job for the day. <laughs> yeah, but what did we spend our day doing yesterday? Let me remind you. <laughs> it was a Highland Gale, wasn't it? God, yeah, but you know, I'm just sort of saying that sometimes we don't do very much. It's just like a little, but we try and do a little bit, just sort of like move the project forward a little bit every day, and you never know. I agree with you. Though. Ripping the boat to pieces and rip taking all the wires out and doing things is a really good idea. And a four eleven gale while the boat's sideways. All right, all right, all right. Just stop being such a thing. <laughs> I'm just saying that sometimes we're just slow. That's all. No, we're not. Well, I think we're slow, but, we're, you know, we get it done. We're thorough, Actually. Madam Liaison Officer. Yeah, well, whatever. You don't have to blog me now, Bev. Yes, I do. Oh, this, gonna... this, is, this is the warts part. Oh, God. Go away. Well, there it is, all done. Um, my little board. I've got a little catch. That's so that I can go past there. So, all I've got to do is open that that comes down and all my elect um, wiring will be on here and you can tell what I'm going to do tomorrow because all that has got to go so I've also little put a little catch just here and a little um, sponge just so that our stealth mode uh, switch is protected um but yeah i'll be happy enough with that because i certainly am not happy with that so what a difference a day or two makes um it's lovely and sunny and um the place doesn't look quite the same as you can see that's what it did a few days ago now i've had a few people ask me about how far do we have to go to get the shopping during lockdown and my answer is it's not very far at all actually. I mean, the marine is just behind me. All we have to do is come to about here. This is far enough actually. And as you can see, there's the marina. And there's where I go to do the shopping. However, I've got something more urgent to deal with today. So it's time to go to the toilet. And you know what? You're not coming in with me for that one. Well, the day has finally arrived uh, for us to sort out under the chart table. We're doing it in shifts because it's such an awkward position. It just hurts your back, doesn't it, Bev? It's hell. <sighs> so uh, we're doing it in shifts, uh, but Bev's there underneath there, or at least <laughs> what we can see of her. Well, there's been a change of shift down in the um, chart table electrical area, and today's Builder's Bomb is brought to you by Gainer. Yeah, and I've just dropped one of the screws in the ready locker. Oh no! I know! Is it in the locker or has it fell down underneath? I think it's... I think it's fallen down into the... Um, oh, wait a minute, I've got a locker, I've got a screw here. Well, there's, not, there's no loose ones in there, have you found? No, I know, but I found something, so it's this one. Right. But yeah, I had a little... 
You had a little issue. moment there. A little moment of like, ah, I've mucked up. It still looks a bit of a mess, but it's a lot better than it was. But we've got most of this sorted out now. So it's the case now of taking these old bus bars off the back and um, putting them under the new panel and then putting all this spaghetti that we've got here onto the new bus bars. Well, this is where we're up to so far. Basically, um, as you can see, I've put the two bus bars on which were at the back of the cabinet. Um, I've left enough room for another bus bar if we ever need one. Um, this is um, can't go there because that's where I've got my stop. So um, that's where we're up to at the moment. We've got little P-clips just to keep the cable runs all neat and tidy. <sighs> So it's just a case of getting, look what Beverly did. She managed to pull all these cables out and now they're just out of the cabinet and they're being re ready to be um, wired in. But they are looking much better already. Well, there's nothing like commitment and when you cut through your autopilot cable, that's definitely commitment. <laughs> yeah, I've committed. But um, we're starting uh, putting all, cutting all the wires so that they're just neater and tidier and on the new bus bars, but... Uh, so the, crimp, the crimper's out, is it? Yeah, the crimper's out, but unfortunately um, I've only got this crimper and uh, I do prefer the one with the ratchet, but that was a lot more money. Um, so it does mean that um, I have to sort of like really, really squeeze. <laughs> Just not as good as such as maybe my strength uh, needs to be a bit better that's why the ratchet's good so buy the ratchet if you can afford it well Beverly and I have decided to call it a quit for the day but this is where we're up to Beverly's been doing a load of wiring so we've still got more wires to go um, but I've done some of these Beverly's done some of these but as you can see, it's starting to uh, look jumbled again. But <laughs> there is method in the madness. Well, the last wire is in, um, and I've done all the testing. Um, and just because boats being boats and wiring being wiring, I had what's commonly known as a faulty earth. Um, when I was putting various switches on, um, the um, anchor light would come on and we hadn't even wired in the anchor light. But as always, it was a faulty earth. And uh, in this case, it was a faulty earth through the diode circuit. Basically, all those diodes are on the same circuit, aren't they? Yeah, all the diodes are on the same circuit and, um, you know, it was just a faulty earth. But once I eliminated that faulty earth, it was fine, but it's just... Trying to find it is just a nightmare, but you just got to be slow, methodical, and you'll get the job done. Um, but now that it's all tested, I've got to actually um, put it all nicely together and look neat, rather than a complete mess, which it does at the moment. Right, so this is it before we um, do the mass tidy, but it is at least all working, which is uh, all to the good. Who's, well, that, who's that poor dishevelled looking person down there? <laughs> That's just me. Anyway, it's all done. And I have to be honest, it's not perfect. But do you know what? If anybody complains, do you know what? I'm going to just throw them off the side. Because <laughs> quite frankly... Visitor complains, throw, visitor complains, throw them overboard. That's always been my philosophy. Absolutely. <laughs> How dare they come on board my boat and complain? <laughs> exactly. I can tell you now. Even though I know the wiring is not perfect. That's how I feel about it. <laughs> and here's Harry, who's been helping. Oh. He's a very, very bright chap. Very illuminating. Oh. Aren't you, Harry? Oh, yeah. Get all excited. Look at that. Yeah. All right, we've just got to find this cover, which is somewhere on the boat. But I thought it still looks pretty wiry in there. It's a, <laughs> it's a lot better than it was. And the, and the main cable run is this bundle here that comes in and this bundle over here that goes to the negatives so they're all pretty much as we want I don't know what I'm saying Bev I'm brain dead <laughs> it's a long job
that's all I can say. A long job, but it's done. It's dusted and I'm going to relax now. Excellent idea. So we're done for today. We'll tidy the boat tomorrow. What do you think? We'll tidy the boat enough to make it safe for us to move around. Yeah. Boat tidy tomorrow and then I'll treat myself to sailing. On Thursday. On Thursday. While you're all watching this video. Yeah, basically. <laughs> While you're watching this, I'll be out sailing. Or at least this.